Hi, my name is Rich Harrington for Adorama TV, and today we're taking a more in-depth look at the Canon EOS 6D. Now, this is a DSLR camera that really falls into a unique position. What you're going to find here is that this is the most affordable full-frame sensor that Canon's offering. Now, what I like about this is it falls squarely between the 5D Mark III and the 7D, both in price and really features. Well, let's start with the thing that most of you are concerned about, and that is the sensor. What we have here is a 20 megapixel camera, full frame sensor. One of the things I really like, it's the same Digic 5 Plus, the processor that you find in the 5D Mark III. So this was really a nice bump up, really high quality. And what I like about it is that it offers three sizes of RAW. Now this is common for Canon, but if you're coming from Nikon or other manufacturers, you might be used to just having one RAW file. What you're gonna see is essentially, you've got the original RAW file, and then you've got some smaller ones that are gonna be at 11 megapixels and five megapixels. So if you're pinched for space, but you still want the benefits of the RAW format, you're gonna get that ability to really capture RAW at different sizes, and this really gives you some flexibility when you're writing to the cards. Now, the sensor itself, very, very sensitive. ISO 100 to 25,600. Now, what I found is that this is the same sensitivity that we've got on the 5D Mark III, and it absolutely blows away the Mark II, which stopped out at 6400. Now, one of the things here is that the noise levels, when you start getting up that high, do start to get a bit noticeable, but because of the in-camera processing and a 14-bit RAW file, it really cleaned up the images a lot. I did a lot of low-light shooting in Las Vegas with this camera, purposely bumped it all the way to the top and went shooting, and I found that when I went into post-process that between what the camera did and the post-processing on the RAW file, it really did a good job. Now, the image processor, very, very fast in this camera. One of the things we're seeing here is that it allows for essentially unlimited JPEG shooting. So if you're covering events, you could shoot forever on this camera before it's gonna run out of buffer. Now, if you are shooting raw, that's pretty good too. It's only four and a half frames per second, which is a bit slower than the Mark III at six, but it's still respectably fast. The Mark II for comparison was about 3.9 frames per second. So this means you could shoot about 15 raw files in a single burst. That's actually two better than the 5D Mark III. Now, the files you shoot are very high quality, but they are recorded to SD card format. So the 5D Mark III is writing to either a compact flash or an SD card. If you're an older Canon user, you're used to having compact flash cards as well. One of the things we're seeing here is manufacturers are definitely making the switch to SD memory cards. Now, the good news is, is that it does support the more professional SD memory cards. So you can use the SDHC for high capacity or the SDXC cards, which are really, really fast. And the camera itself does actually work with the new ultra high speed cards, which gives you some added benefits when shooting video, which we'll talk about in a moment. Now, one of the things that Canon cut back on this camera to really drive the price down was autofocus. The good news is 11 points of autofocus, which is respectable. The 5D Mark II by comparison only had nine, but this comes nowhere close to the 5D Mark III, which has 61 points. Now, two things I've been looking forward to that actually come in this camera is built-in Wi-Fi and GPS. The cool thing about GPS is that this allows you to actually geotag your photos. And with Wi-Fi, Canon has a couple of things. First off, there's the Canon Image Gateway, which allows you to transfer to a computer and upload to standard social media sites. But they actually do have a new Wi-Fi remote app as well, the Canon EOS Remote. So if you've got an iOS or Android smartphone or tablet, you can use this remote app. And what it's gonna allow you to do is actually control the camera remote, making very fine changes to the camera. And if you're shooting things like time-lapse or you wanna do HDR, the ability to sort of ramp the camera and do some of these changes right from the remote are gonna be very, very helpful. Now, some of the other things that I like, it does have built-in HDR, which is good if you wanna shoot a wider range. Unfortunately, it's JPEG only. But if you're gonna post-process and do your HDR using something like Lightroom or Photoshop, you can still shoot raw and then merge those multiple exposures. But if you want the in-camera HDR, that's fine. It's gonna be JPEG only mode. So I personally think that kind of defeats the purpose. Uh, another thing that I really do like about this camera is some fun things like in-camera compositing. So you can do multiple exposures, which is just a fun way to lay multiple frames together. And I also found that the scene intelligent auto and the special scene modes were very liberating. Essentially, these allow you to go in and dial in the look that you want and then let the camera do the thinking for you. 
I found the controls to be intuitive and they really gave me great results. I was shooting under very diverse lighting conditions. I shot in Vegas with this camera. I also took it outdoors shooting at sunlight and then it started to get twilight and the lighting was changing. By shooting in the sort of intelligent auto modes, the camera did a lot of the work for me. The shutter speed of this camera is quite fast. You could shoot between four thousandth of a second and all the way up to 30 seconds, which is just a little bit slower than the 5D Mark II or Mark III, which goes at eight thousandth of a second. But I really don't think that's noticeable. I mean, the difference between a four thousandth of a second and an eight thousandth of a second is that, if not even. So really no big deal here. This matches the new Nikon D600, and it really seems to be in line with the price point. Now, one of the things I like, that's a quieter shutter, which I really like, the silent shooting mode. The good news here is, especially if you're doing something like time lapse, you don't have to listen to that loud click over and over again. Or if you're trying to be more discreet, you don't stand out as much. On the video side, this camera is quite nice. Now, it offers full HD video, and what you get is great exposure control. You've got multiple frame rates here. The, really, the large sensor, the full frame sensor, really comes in handy if you are shooting and you want that shallow depth of field or great low light performance, particularly when you combine it with a fast lens. And I really liked how this worked. Now, you get all the standard frame rates, 30 and 25, if you're shooting 1080p or 720p. And with 1080, you also get the cinematic 24p mode. And if you want that overcrank look where you're shooting for slow motion, you could shoot at 60 frames a second and then play it back. But that's only at 720, but that's completely in line with Canon's other formats. What I do like is they improved the video quality. So you could shoot with what's called an all iframe mode. Now, you're gonna need one of those UHSI cards that we talked about earlier, but essentially this allows you to have a higher capacity card and to shoot very fast with higher data rate. The good news here too is that the limitations on record times have been essentially removed. You can go all the way up to a 30 minute file when shooting an HD video and get almost a 100 minute file if you're shooting in standard definition. Now the thing that I don't like about the camera is that while we have a mic input, we don't have a headphone jack. The 5D Mark III did put that in which was quite nice so you can actually monitor your audio while recording. The 6D left it out probably to save some cost. So if you're recording sound to this camera, I would recommend that you still stick with recording audio to sort of a sync sound or a separate source. This is likely going to be something like a Zoom H4n or maybe a sound devices recorder. For lenses here, you're going to go ahead and you can use really any Canon EF lens. Now you can't use the cheaper EFS lenses, you know, that you might have been able to do with the 7D, but if you've been a 5D shooter or you've invested in better glass, all those EF lenses are going to work. Now, the newer EFM lenses that are designed for the mirrorless cameras, also not compatible, but no surprise there. So stick with the regular EF lenses. And the menu system itself, very intuitive. I think it's one of the nicest things about this camera. I like how easy it is to navigate through the menus, very easy to see the controls. So I, I think a very solid camera. If you're looking for something that's lightweight, about 1.7 pounds, full frame sensor, the 60 is a great match, very affordable. And I found that the overall controls, the layout of the buttons, super easy to use. And I think this is a great affordable way to get into full frame sensor shooting. So I highly recommend the camera. Now I recommend too that you also check out the Adorama Learning Center. If you wanna head on over there, there's tons more reviews on other cameras. And before you make a purchase, you can go through and look at some of the reviews as well as articles about how to get more out of your camera. And of course, check out adorama.com, more than a camera store. Adorama TV is brought to you by Adorama, your best source for the equipment and knowledge you need. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. Place your order by 7 p.m. and it ships the same day. Plus, the next time you're in New York City, be sure to visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue. Check out the Adorama Rental Company for professional cameras, lighting, computers, and more. We'll help you make the best selection to match your needs while giving you the knowledge to achieve the best outcome from your rental. Adorama is your complete solution for equipment, printing, training, and more. Adorama, more than a camera store.